Hello, and thank you for joining. My name is Jesse Snow, and this is Daily Bread. Today, we're going to start reading out of Genesis chapter 13, verse 1. The new visitors are always welcome. So, after you leave your love and your thoughts in the comments, make sure to share this to Facebook and Twitter. Now, before we get started, let's open in a word of prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Here's Genesis chapter 13, verse 1. Then Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and lot with him. To the south, Abram Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver and gold, and he went to his, on his journey from the south as far as Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the altar which he had made there at first, and there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Lot also, who went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together, for their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's flock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen. For we are brethren. Is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as you go toward Zor. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated from each other. Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord said to Abram, After Lot had separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. Then Abram removed his tent, and went and dwelt by the terebinth trees of Memory, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. And we're going to stop right there at Genesis chapter 14. I'd like to thank everybody again for joining. I really do hope you enjoyed reading along with me. If you did, you can hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to continue to read along, you can subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when I upload the videos. The next time we're going to start reading in Genesis chapter 14. But before we go, let's close in a word of prayer. Lord God, thank you for all that you do. Father, thank you for the wonderful, good things you have in store for us. Father, for those happy moments, just even the beauty of, of life. I thank you for all that you do in our lives. Amen.